Hey, what's up everyone? Hope everyone's doing well. Scott and Gage here. We're back in Somerville Place. So I had a couple people ask me about my logic gate setup here for my gatehouse. Now in the previous video that I shown uh, about the logic gate with the gatehouse, I had an AND gate, a NOT gate, and another AND gate set up. And as you saw in the video, it did work. But, after a while, uh, they bugged out, glitched out. I don't know why, but it didn't work. And no matter how many times I've even, I scrapped the gates, set up new ones, rewired it, uh, it wouldn't work. So, after playing around with it, I now have a NAND gate. As you see here, the NAND logic gate, and it's the only one I, I need. So, you got your power coming in. I've got the power running from the generator up here to this pylon, and then up there to the top of the box car, across the top using the conduits, and then right here, this wire here, coming down to this conduit, and then directly to the switch and then I have power wire up to the siren up there now from the switch I've run the power to the input of the NAND gate and from the siren to the input of the NAND gate and from the output to this power conduit that's attached to the power door now up on top also attached to the siren I have a fireworks mortar and as you can see right now the power is off the power is also off you can see the red light there because the switch is off but the siren has power and the door is up you can see the power is being transmitted out of both input and output. But you see there to the switch, it's input one from the switch. In from the siren is zero because the power is off to the siren. And then output one to the power conduit to the power door. Now the way the NAND gate works is it has to have power from two different inputs to trans for it to work and transmit power throughout everything so now I've just tested this as you can see it's raining down here and in my fireworks mortar I have a weather clear shell and you'll see the door is open so now we'll flip the switch on the siren the fireworks mortar goes off and my door is closed. Turn the siren back off. The door opens back up. And we only need the one gate instead of the three. I don't quite understand. It took me a while to get my head around these logic gates. I still don't understand most of them. But I did get this set up to work again. Because as I said, the AND gate, the NOT gate, and the other AND gate setup that I used in the previous video, which did work because I tested it out in the video, it no, lo no longer worked. But this setup does as you just saw I just tested it out so if you want to set this up in your settlement all the better now usually what I do is I craft the emergency flares and I leave those in the fireworks mortar so that way my guard that's right here and I've assigned this guard to this bed right here so he stays pretty close I've got another guard post right over there that he and he kind of makes time in between them but when the settlement gets attacked 
this switch gets flipped the emergency shell goes off the door automatically closes and you usually get some Minutemen that show up at your settlement to help out so I hope this fixes the problem for everybody I know I've had a few comments of people saying you know hey this setup it's not working for me or it did work and then it quit working uh, because the exact same thing happened to me so give this a try just use the AND gate the only one right there and run your power directly from the switch to the input and from the siren to the input and then the output to your power door that should be all you need to get this set up to work. So I hope that answered everybody's questions. If you like the video, please hit that like button. That's very appreciated. And if you have any comments about how I wired this up or anything else, please leave a comment. I'm always happy to hear feedback about everything. So as always, have a good one, guys. Thanks.